Good morning, my broskies. This is Yami Blood, and this is our legacy. All right, guys. So the XC's festival is literally around the corner. It should be dropping tomorrow on the 17th of February. At least the maintenance is on the 17th. And after the maintenance, we can expect the XC's festival. So if you're looking for what deck to build to play, I've got a deck list here for you today. And I would say this deck is actually competitive. And it's definitely going to be the deck that I will be playing and taking into the festival. So stay tuned for a live stream, which we will be doing tomorrow make sure you smash that thumbs up smash subscribe my broskies notification bells on toggle those on guys for some reason youtube algorithm tells me that over 70 percent of the broskies that watch my stuff are not subscribed so please 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 do double check that subscribe button and if you are subscribed notification bell and now without further ado let's go <laughs> So on your screens right now is my Numeron deck, Numeron boys. This Numeron archetype is a very interesting one. You may have seen it in Ranked and I too bumped into this strategy a few times and I mostly thought of it as a meme until of course I actually tried it, I built it and I tweaked it according to my playstyle. and I must say guys that this deck packs a massive punch. It works like crazy, it's designed for pure OTK and you can get those quick OTKs. Now the extra deck just dropped the link monster. If you want to play this before the festival, bang in these two links, but you can use this in the Exus festival and it will work for you. Now, there are different variations out there at the moment, but the way that I've designed it is mainly focusing on removing the back row, stopping our opponents from adding cards to the deck, drawing into the combo ASAP, wiping our opponent's back row. These are the kind of the gates that I've added to the deck. So we're using Droll and Lockbird at three copies. Droll and Lockbird is like an Ash Blossom. It doesn't negate the first effect when your opponent and adds a card to the deck but thereafter your opponent can't add cards to the deck so that is a really nice tech in today's meta ash blossom doesn't need explanation you know how good she is core at two to three boys core at two to three for every one of your decks forbidden droplet monster effect negation call by the grave so that you can go into your combos call by the grave will wipe out a good few ash blossoms on your way and also guys call by the grave can be used against eldritch you can banish your opponent's monsters from the grave you can basically stop their strategies all right next thing to note here are the back row removal now i was running parallel twisters at three and just the parallel twisters but i realized that i'm not drawing into it as consistently as i want it to be so what i did was i banged in cosmic cyclone but because it's an sr don't really have too many cp crafting points so i banged in mystical space typhoon at three because it's a rare we also have lightning storm for back row removal and we have harpy's feather duster for me personally guys i was not drawing into back row removal so that's that's why we've got a good few back row removal cards and another thing that i found was drawing into the combo the combo is basically back row removal you kind of want your opponent to have monsters because the numeron xes they all double their attack only if it's attacked into an opponent's monster so you do need your opponent's monsters out on the field but of course the back row can get in the way so lots of back row removal now guys one major thing to note here is that your opponent might have monster effects that can stop you from carrying out your play so kaiju Juice, kaijus i've mainly stayed away from using kaiju not for any particular reason but this deck it is very important to have a monster out on your opponent's field and it's very important that your opponent does not have a monster effect that could stop you from carrying out your otk so kaijus get the weakest one 2700 attack and it's a rare you only to use your valuable sr and urcp get this kaiju tack into it you will double your numeron's attack you'll get to 4000 you get to 8000 and you can go for the straight up otk in also bang in lava golems seen a few variations using lava golem again a very good card to get rid of your opponent's monsters right guys the main game plan how do you work this deck it's very simple you need numeron network now this is the field spell you can search it via pathfinder you can search it via numeron wall very easy stuff activate the field spell then you send numeron calling to the grave and you're able to activate calling's effect that will allow you to special summon all of your numeron monsters 
say your one, your two, your three, and so on, you'll summon it. Then all you have to do is attack into your opponent's monster, whether you've kaiju'd it or it's an opponent's monster. Attack into it, you will take some damage, but of course you won't take that much damage. The minute one of them attacks, it will double all of your Numeron's attack stats. You attack with the other one, bam, doubled. Keep going through until you destroy your opponent's monsters, then go and attack directly, and it should be game. Very easy stuff. You might have noticed cross out designator. Now guys, this is like a call by the grave. Now for me personally, I find that I don't draw into call by the grave as often as I would like to draw it. I don't know why that is. So cross out designator, you banish a card from your deck and that will also stop your opponent from using the effect. So since we're running Ash Blossom, our opponent Ash Blossoms us, cross out designator, we banish an Ash Blossom from our deck and it will negate his Ash Blossom. Same with call by the grave for example. Another example is mystical space typhoon. My opponent somehow used mystical space typhoon on me. I activated cross out designator, I banished the mystical space from my deck and negated his mystical space typhoon. Same with forbidden droplet, a lot of decks use that, a lot of decks use call by the grave, a lot of decks use terraforming, so on and so forth. So there's lots of combos to be made and it's definitely a deck that works. I won't be surprised if a lot of people are going to be running this. Alright my broskies, enjoy the gameplay, I will see you guys later on, take it breezy, peace out.